Welcome to the 5.4 video, which is entitled Use Medians and Altitudes. Before this, we talked about perpendicular bisectors and the circumcenter, and then we talked about angle bisectors and the incenter. This video, we're going to be talking about medians and the centroid. So first thing we should probably talk about is what is a median? Well, a median connects a vertex to the opposite side's midpoint. So if we give ourselves a triangle, vertex to the opposite side's midpoint. So here's our midpoint. Here's vertex to midpoint. So this is a median. So there's three medians in every triangle, one coming from each vertex. The centroid is the point of concurrency, or the intersection point. of the three centroids. Okay, so we're going to draw a figure in a minute, but I want to start right out by telling you what the theorem is. The centroid is two-thirds the distance from the vertex to the opposite midpoint. Okay, and then we have room for a figure. So I need to draw myself a triangle. I need to find all of my midpoints, and I'm going to mark that they're midpoints. Okay, and now I have to draw in my three medians. It goes vertex to midpoint, vertex to midpoint, and then vertex to midpoint. So this right here is the centroid, so I'm going to mark it C for centroid. Okay, so then I'm going to label these other points. Okay, so the one that's important is that the vertex to the centroid, this part, or the centroid to the vertex, DC, is two-thirds the entire segment. So that's two-thirds of DG. So the vertex to the, the centroid is two-thirds of the entire segment. That's one way to remember it. The way instead that I remember is I remember that AC is going to be twice the rest of the segment. So twice CE. So I know this is a little confusing, so let's just jump right in and do some examples. So let's look at example one. It says in the figure below, P is the centroid, find the indicated measures. Okay, we know that RT is 24. So RT is 24. We need to find RP and PT. Okay, I told you the way that I remember is vertex to centroid is going to be twice the other distance. So I don't know what PT is, so I'm going to call that X. That means RP is going to be twice that. It's going to be 2x. But I know the entire segment is 24. So I have 2x add x equals 24, which gives me 3x equals 24, and x equals 8. Okay, but x was PT. That means PT is 8. And then RP is 2x, so 2 multiplied by 8 is 16. And if I check, I add those together, they get 24. Okay, in the next figure, we have RP is 10. Okay, RP is 10. Remember, RP is going to be twice whatever PT is. So again, RP is the 2x, PT is the x. Okay, so if RP is 2x and 10 is 2x, that means x equals 5. So I get PT equals 5. RT is the entire segment, so 10 add 5 is 15. Okay, pause the video right now and try C on your own, please.
Okay, so you should have had enough time to try this one on your own. We are told PT is 7. Okay, we know that PT is the X part, and then RP is the 2X. You know, the vertex of the center for it is twice. So if X is 7, 2X is going to be 14. That means RP is 14. And then RT is the entire segment. 14 add 7 is 21. So hopefully you got that one right. If not, that's okay. Try to figure out what you did wrong. If you can't, bring any questions you have to class tomorrow. Let's flip to the next page. Okay, example two. It says G is the centroid of triangle AEC. CG is 4X add 5, and CF is 9X. Find the value of X. Okay, originally I think a lot of students look at this and we want to set the two equal. Can't do that. CG and CF are not equal. They don't even look equal in the figure, so don't set them equal. I haven't told you any relationship, or we haven't used a relationship between CG and the entire segment CF. Instead, we go between CG and GF. Those are the two we go between. We know that CG is double whatever GF is. Okay, that's G. Okay. So 4x plus 5 is going to be twice whatever gf is. So I need to divide everything by 2. So gf is going to be 4x divided by 2, which is 2x, add 5 over 2. So that's this part right here. 2x add 5 halves. Okay, now I can add my two parts and set them equal to the whole. So now I have... 2x add 5 halves, that's the gf, and then I'm adding gc, 4x add 5, that's equal to my entire uh, median, which is 9x. So 2x and 4x is 6x, add 15 over 2 equals 9x. Subtracting 6x, I get 15 over 2 equals 3x. And then last thing, dividing everything by 3, I got x equals 5 over 2. So I know that one's trickier, but we'll do another example like that when you come to class. Okay, we have one more example and then two last definitions, and then we are finished with this video. Okay, so in this example it says the vertices of triangle FGH are F, G, and H. What is the order pair that gives the coordinates of the centroid? Well, I'm going to start by uh, marking in all these points. So F is 2, 5. So that's this one right here, F. Okay, and then I have G is 4, 9. And H is 6, 1. Okay, do you all remember finding the midpoint? So remember when we found the midpoint, we added the x's and we divided by 2. We added the y's, we divided by 2. Finding the centroid is exactly the same, except with three points this time. So finding a centroid, you're going to add your x's. This time divide by 3, because there's three points. And then add your y's and divide by 3 because there's three points. Okay, so in this case, my x's are 2, 4, and 6, and my y's are 5, 9, and 1. Okay, so I get 12 over 3 and 15 over 3, so my centroid is 4, 5. And that's the theorem you're always going to use, or that's the formula you'll, that you will always use. Okay, last thing, last two definitions. An altitude connects a vertex to the opposite side forming a right angle. 
Okay, so vertex to opposite side forms a right angle. Orthocenter is the point of concurrency of the three altitudes. So it's just the point where the three altitudes meet. Nothing important about that we're going to that we're going to learn. All you need to know is that the orthocenter is where the altitudes intersect. So that's it for this video. That's it for the uh, triangle centers. So after this, we're going to review a little bit, and then you will have a quiz. Please bring any questions that you have to class tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.